Hey, this is Professor Perez. Today, we are going to look at two properties of multiplication. But before we get started, we need our student volunteer, Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. All right. Let's get started right there. Eight times seven. Charlie, what's eight times seven? 56. Ah, you got lucky. It is 56. All right. Three times four is 12, Charlie, right? What's four times three, Charlie? 12. 12. Very good. Now notice here, 3 times 4 is the same as 4 times 3. This demonstrates the commutative property for multiplication, which basically says if you have a times b, you will get the same result as doing b times a. Okay, suppose we have three numbers being multiplied. If we multiply the first two numbers first, that gives us 6, bring down our work, and then do 6 times 5, which is 30. That's our answer. But suppose we multiply the second two numbers first. 3 times 5 is 15 and then multiply by the second number, and you get 30. Notice it's the same answer. This demonstrates the associative property for multiplication, which basically states if you have three numbers being multiplied together, you could multiply the first two first, and then multiply by the third, or you can multiply by the last two first, and then multiply the first, and you get the same result. Let's look at two times three times four. We can apply the associative and commutative properties to this particular problem, and we can therefore arrange the numbers in any order. So basically, these two properties allow us to multiply the numbers in any order we want, as long as they're all being multiplied together. So suppose we had two times three times four, and we multiply the first two first, that gives us six times four, which is 24. Well, let's apply the commutative property to the first two numbers, the two and the three, and let's rearrange it as three times two. And let's do three times two, which is six, 6 times 4 is 24. It's the same answer. Now let's just rearrange the numbers. Let's put it as 3 times 4 times 2. Well, we should get the same answer, right? So let's do 3 times 4, which is 12. And 12 times 2 is 24. So basically we're saying, hey, we can multiply in any order. Let's look at 2 times 3 times 5. Let's bust out some kung fu here. Since we can multiply in any order, let's do the 2 times 5, because that's a nice 10, right? And we have 10 times 3, and 10 times 3 is the same as 3 times 10, and that answer is 30. Now suppose we have these four numbers, 2 times 3 times 4 times 3. Okay, Charlie, what's 2 times 3? 6 times 4. 24 times 3. Uh-huh, too late. Now, let's bust out some kung fu, watch. Since they're all being multiplied, we can multiply in any order. So let's do 2 times 4, which is 8 and then do 3 times 3, which is 9. 8 times 9 is the same as 9 times 8. Now, Charlie, what's 9 times 8? 72. 72, very nice. That's some good kung fu right there. There we go. So let's try some more kung fu. Here we have 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. Let's do 3 times 4 first, which is 12. And see, we're saving that 2 times 5 for last, which is 10. And 12 times 10 is 120. That's some good kung fu right there. Now we have 6 times 3 times 2 times 4 times 7. Don't get scared. I'm going to use some Kung Fu here, watch. Let's try 6 times 2, which is 12. 3 times 4, which is 12. And then we have a 7 there. Ooh. Well, 12 times 12, hopefully you know it's 144. And we bring down our 7. Now, we have to do 144 times 7. But by the commutative property, 144 times 7 is the same as 7 times 144. So let's go ahead and do that, and now we're going to write the 144 in expanded form. So we're breaking it up using Kung Fu. 7 times 100 is 700, plus 7 times 40. Well, 7 times 4 is 28, so 7 times 40 is 280, and 7 times 4 is 28. Now we've broken it down to a basic addition problem, and now we add. If we work left to right, 700 plus 280 is 980, plus 28. 1,008, and that's our answer there. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, I'm going to use the vertical format to do 144 times 7. Yep, you can do that. And let's go ahead and try that. 7 times 4 is 28. Write down the 8, carry the 2. We go to the next column. 7 times 4 is 28. Add 2 because of the carryover. That gives us 30, so we put a 0, carry the 3. 7 times 1 is 7. Add the 3, that gives you 10. And that gives you an answer of 1,008. So that's enough for now, and we'll see you again soon.